have those guys feel because this things yeah. change to this to this and this yeah. but i hope we can say that senior sinkhole uh -huh. as we call him in the newsroom is gone yes. adios never to see <laughs> him again all right yeah. today in weatherland a yep. day of transition because we have the high clouds mm -hmm. the middle of the clouds the thickening clouds and now yeah. well well there you go yeah and when we have the day of transition yeah. neil and casey we have to deal with beautiful scenes like this no, not deal with them paint to do that them, right and just savor beautiful. them beautiful. there you yes. go that's a live look and long view Ooh. we're starting to see the wind pick back up again Again, but it's been relatively light throughout the course of the day. Beautiful coloration in the skies. We will not be seeing that, however, as we move into tomorrow morning because the clouds will first move in. That will be followed by those rain chances. There are your temperatures. We're in the upper 60s and lower 70s right now. Palestine's at 70. It's 70 in Athens. We're at 69 degrees in Tyler. Tonight will fall to a low of about 63. By the end of the night, meaning around daybreak tomorrow morning, we'll start to see those rain chances increase from west to east. We'll have more specifics on the timeline here in just a little bit, but tomorrow it's still a warm day. This is going to be the last 70 degree day that we've had in a while, and we will see those highs in the 70s. Winds will be strong out, out ahead of that cold front that will be arriving southwest about 10 to 15 miles per hour, so don't let that catch you off guard if you're going to be out and about. Now, here comes the front. We need the front to provide the lift necessary for these storms to get going. It is in West Texas right now, and it will be advancing into East Texas as we move into overnight tonight. Futurecast starting this at six o'clock in the morning. If you're driving into work or school or whatever you're doing, we'll see a couple of showers, maybe a rumble of thunder along the line that will be in our western counties. Advancing this forward now, seven, eight, nine o'clock, starting to move through our central counties. Some pockets of heavier showers and thunderstorms. And then as this begins to advance off to the east by about 10, 11 o'clock, this is all into our eastern counties. Again, not looking very robust, not looking very strong, but it is still uh, conducive to produce some stronger thunderstorms. By noontime, this is moving into our far southeastern counties, and then this pushes off to the east and exits our viewing area into parts of Louisiana. There's the front at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. By 2 o'clock, it's all moved into Louisiana, and we could actually see a little bit of sunshine before the sun sets tomorrow evening, so we might be dealing with another beautiful sunset. Time will tell because sometimes the clouds can be pretty stubborn when they're moving out of East Texas. Here's the severe weather outlook Wednesday into early Thursday. The main threat will be the threat of 60 to 70 mile per hour winds, but that threat increases as you move off to the east. This yellow shaded region that's the level two slight risk of severe weather and it encompasses around the Toledo Bend Lake area in Sabine County. Wind speeds are pretty weak right now, 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that will not increase the tornado threat, which there is a threat of tornadoes. It's just confined to our southeastern counties. But again, it's pretty much Sabine, St. Augustine, Shelby County that will be under the gun for those uh, tornadoes. But the damaging wind threat, it remains low for our central and western counties. That's where we are seeing the marginal risk, but places like Tyler, Longview, Gilmer could see up to 60 mile per hour winds, maybe even a little stronger in our far southeastern counties. But in summary of all this, here is the storm timeline. Far out to the west, 6 to 9 o'clock. That's when you can expect those showers and thunderstorms a little further to the east, getting into Lufkin, Nacogdoches, Henderson, Marshall. The time I want you to be weather aware will be between 8 and 11 o'clock in the morning, and then it's on the steering wheel between 10 and 2 in this pink region in our far southeastern counties, and then it all exits off to our east into Louisiana. Cooler air, it moves in Thursday and Friday. We will have 60s as a result, 56 Saturday with another front moving through. There are your rain chances and another chance of showers as we head into Monday night. Tuesday, deep east Texas, severe weather, possible Wednesday, which is tomorrow, 75 degrees, 60s Thursday and Friday. Neil, Casey? With severe weather possible.